So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this carving tool that I use. This is the Automac Handcraft Model HCT-30. And I've had this for about 10 years. I use it almost every day. And I use it to do rough outs so that I can carve pieces like this. And here's a piece of 4x4 basswood. And I've kind of tapered the top on the bandsaw. And I leave the base because I like to carve the base like this. But I use this auto mock tool to do all of my rough out and it's really been an amazing tool. And again, I've had this for about 10 years and I just want to give them a shout out for really making a great tool. So some of the things that you want to be aware of, you've got a loop here to connect it up. You've got this, this is for the brushes. You know, you can take that up, easily replace the brushes in it. Again, on this side, you need to oil it. And to do that, it's real simple. You just kind of lift this up and right in here, that is where the, the white lithium grease goes in, right in here. And I just want to make sure that it's, I usually just probably not the best thing to do, but I take a little piece of my carving and I just make sure that I've got some good grease in there and it's not really, really dark. If it's dark, you want to replace it, obviously, but it's real easy to oil this thing. And again, I use a white lithium grease like this. And again, 10 years I've been using this tool and it's, it's actually had a lot of work. You can see the blade up here is a little bit shiny because it's been used so much. So I'm just gonna show you what I use it to do. And before this tool, I used to use this for all of my rough out. And it's incredibly hard on your wrist. It's incredibly hard on your elbows and it wears you out very quickly. So this will make a little bit of noise, but not much. The on-off switch is right down here. You just turn it on, and you just start knocking this stuff out. And again, one of the good things about this tool is it's not going to cut you until you push down on it. It actually doesn't start doing its work until you actually push down on it. So on this piece, what I'll do is I'll just figure out about where I want. The arms to go and just start working at it.
So you get the idea, folks. So what I'm going for is this kind of shape. And man, this really takes a lot of time out of the equation and it really saves your wrist. I'd highly recommend this, folks.